What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So, as we know, Forza Horizon 5 has been out for a couple weeks now and I wanted to jump in and show you 5 new features that I absolutely love that shows that this game is definitely leaps and bounds above Forza Horizon 4. So with that being said, let's jump on in and have a look. Right, number one, we finally have convertibles. I'm so happy about this. This is long overdue. Some games like Midnight Club LA back in 2008 even had this feature. We did have this in Forza Horizon 4 in the Auto Vista, but we could never bring the cars out with it, unless you used the glitch for the McLaren 720S. However, not every car has this, as some cars like the SLK 55 AMG that you can't put down and a few others. You're not only limited to putting the roof up or down, some cars like the Mercedes AMG 1, when you hit the left stick, by the way, you need to map this as well before you can do it, but hitting the left stick puts this into track mode, which is pretty cool. Again, not every car has this. You would think something like the 4 GT with its track mode and performance mode, when it drops down quick, doesn't do it with this, but it's still a cool feature. Number two is launch control. This is a pretty cool feature. So basically put the car into reverse and straight into first, hold the accelerator and brake at the same time and let go of the brake and it launches. Every car is held at different RPMs depending on the car and you can do this with anything, even this AMC Gremlin X. Just listen to that. And you're not only limited to first gear, you can actually launch this in whatever gear you want. So we'll take third on this. It's not going anywhere, but it's still a cool feature to have. Number three is my favorite feature, and I'm so happy they brought it back. This is painting the brake calipers. This has been gone since, I don't know, maybe Forza Motorsport 3. I'm so happy it's back though, and literally you can do whatever you want, and it just gives you great customization ideas. You can even have them in carbon fiber if you want. In number four, you can finally compare different sounds for different upgrades, whether it's your exhaust notes or your engine notes with the air filter. Just take a listen to these. This even works with the air filter. Take a listen to the sucking of the air. And even turbos, you can hear different turbo whistles at the end. This is a cool feature to have. And in number five, we finally have a racetrack. Well, kind of. So at the Horizon Festival, you can definitely see that there is potential for one. You already have the stands, you have the pit lanes. I mean, there's a few circuits that are pre-laid out. I'm sure in the editor, you can come up with your own track layout if you wanted to. I'm not sure if you could put the rumble strips in, but that would be cool. I always did think that the Horizon games missed a dedicated racetrack. I mean, even if you think Test Drive Unlimited back in the day had its own dedicated racetrack. And that was just so cool after you did your free roam driving to just go to the track and do a couple laps. I mean, this is a step in the right direction, but you can see at the Dunas Blancas that there is a more track orientated layout. However, this is completely dirt. So make sure you have a rally car or something like that. This is still cool. I mean, you can rip around and drift and you know, you can catch air if you want, wherever you, you want like this. I like this track. I think the off-roading in this game has definitely improved over Forza Horizon 4, the dirt racing as well. So I can definitely see myself ripping around this track a lot of times. Now, anyway, guys, that's it for this week's video. I really appreciate you watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for more Forza Horizon 5 content. As always, thanks very much and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.